Hey guys, Damon Hart, the Foxy Home Buyer, and everybody knows that Foxy buys houses, right? We're a home buying company. We purchase homes here in the Hillsborough County and surrounding areas here in Florida on the West Coast. But a lot of times you run into people that are thinking about, you know, selling their home, but they are like in the middle. They're like, well, maybe I should sell for sale my owner, or maybe I should sell with a real estate agent. And, you know, that's not really, you know, what we do. We generally aren't selling retail properties. We're helping folks with a little bit difficult situations, bankruptcy, overfinance, uh, divorce, anything like that. We, we generally specialize in. But I get the question all the time. Well, Damon, you know, how do I know who's a good real estate agent? Like if I'm going to pick a realtor and I can't sell for sale by owner, what was a good realtor? So I'm going to tell you a couple of questions that I, if I were selling with a real estate agent, which I do on occasion, okay? I'm not saying I don't use an agent. And the reason I would is because I just want to get more marketing. I got to be a kick-ass realtor, uh, like, a, like a bulldog, like, uh, I don't know, like a junkyard dog on the back of a truck, like have eaten in weeks, and then here comes a piece of steak kind of realtor. Like that's when I'll use them. But when you're looking for somebody that's going to be just selling your home uh, and you want someone that hungry, here are some of the qualifying questions I would ask and I do ask. Um, when I'm selling with a real estate agent. First is, are you full-time, right? <laughs> like, no offense, but like uh, you walked into your doctor's office and um, you're, you're complaining about pain, right? You're saying, oh man, doc, I got this, uh, this heart palpitation, you know, stuff's going on inside. I don't know if I'm going to make it. And uh, this guy says, yeah, you know, that's cool. I can definitely help you. But um, just want to let you know, I only work weekends. Like, What? What are you talking about? Now, I know it's a little extreme, right? We talking about... <laughs> I cracked myself up, but I know it's extreme. We're talking about, um, you know, a, a heart surgeon versus a realtor. But in a way, it's kind of not really, not really the same thing. Let's keep it real. But they're darn near close when you talk about the level of um, professionalism and importance that you put on that transaction, right? You're dealing with my life. Like, this is my house. This is something that I hold dear to me, just like my heart. You know, I don't want the guy working part time to, to sell my house. That's just me, you, you know, and you might feel differently. But I'm telling you, if you're only there on the weekends, you got to have a pretty, pretty. You got to be the Doogie Hauser for you old school guys, the Doogie Hauser of realtors to be able to work on my house part time. Just saying. OK, second, second is how long do you think is going to take to sell my house? OK, that's a question I'm going to ask them. And and you can either ask them that on an interview when they have come out to the house or if you want to get bullish like me, I just say it over the phone. Like, how long is it going to take for you to sell my house? The reason I ask that question is because I want to know if they're thinking of what some of the obstacles they're going to have to sell my house. Because no matter where you live, you can have the most beautiful house mansion around other mansions, boat access or uh, canal access or bay access on the water, boat dock everything is still going to be some issues. There might be competition and maybe some uh, repairs that you need to, to make, but I want to know, are you thinking about those things? So I say, how long is it, do you think it's going to take me to, to take you to sell my house? And if they waver, that's a, a telltale sign that they really even think about it before I ask that question. And how serious am I going to take you if you're not really thinking about my exit before I even ask you the question, right? So that's one of the things I would definitely ask. The other is, hey, where do, you, where do you find your buyers, Mr. Realtor? Where do you find them? Okay. Now, depending on where they're getting their answers, it could be like, well, you know, I find them on, we advertise on Zillow and we do some direct uh, marketing. We have some partnerships. Like, that's the kind of stuff I want to hear. But if you're telling me, well, yeah, you know, we, we pretty much just put the property on the MLS, run the other way. Okay. Because not for nothing, you could put the property on, on, on the MLS by your darn self. And you could have just the same in, impact on selling your house for sale by owner as that person. Just offer more commission, right? If you go on the market, you just offer, instead of offering 3% to the listing agent, you offer 4 Now, you you 1% is working more for that, uh, for that other agent that says, hey, I got a buyer for you. You can pay him 4%? Yeah. Instead of paying six, you, who's winning? You are. So I want to know you're getting buyers outside the MLS and how you're doing it. Tell me you got a buyer pool. 
Tell me you have other listings and you have people left over a database. Tell me you you actively show. Uh, tell me tell me something that tells me that you know what the heck you, you you're doing and you can move my house. So that way you save me a bunch of bunch of time, right? And then the other question is, you know, how many listings do you have now? Because I want to know. I want to know if I'm going to be a priority for you. Because if you tell me, hey, you got three listings, that's okay. If you're telling me your listings move pretty quick, right? Then I'm cool with that. But if you tell me you have, I don't know, three listings and they've been on the market for 120 days, that tells me you're not actively looking at your listings and you're probably not making much money. And that's not cool. I don't want somebody that's not professional, not making money and not moving inventory. I just don't. And neither should you. If you're selling for some owner, you want to get this thing going, right? And then last, but certainly not least, um, you know, this is kind of like a general, general question. But I guess, you know, the one thing I would really ask them uh, overall, just kind of figure out my says, what makes you so special as, as an agent? What makes you so better than everybody else? And the reason I ask that is I want, I want swag. I want confidence out of my agent. I don't want my agent to kind of come kick rocks and say, oh, look, I, I, I guess because I'm, I'm a personable or I guess I'm, I just return phone calls. Nah, I, I all y'all should be doing that. I don't want just return phone calls. That's a, it's like Chris Rock said, like, you know, take care of my kids. You're supposed to like, you're supposed to return phone calls, Mr. Realtor. Okay. You're supposed to be personable. That's why I hire you. I want you to tell me why you're the best. And if I don't get any swag out of that, guess what? probably not the one for me so if you enjoyed my little rant but I, I, you'll you'll see you try these go ahead and try them you'll see that I'm Foxy's not crazy we're smart okay Mr. Fox is not nuts he's telling you what it is what you need to do so go out there connect with uh, some agents run them through the mill ask them these questions and see if you're gonna go with the realtor you're gonna get the right one okay so with that I want to say thanks for tuning in if you like this uh, content please like and share. It really helps me. It helps the brand. It helps the company. And it helps to get more information out there and let us know if you like this information. If you want more, please comment below and tell me what else we can provide. Okay. So for now, thanks for tuning in till the next video. This is Damon Hart, the the Foxy home buyer, letting you know to keep it foxy. Thanks guys.